right. So on GMAT questions where you see uh, a lot of information presented or that look overly confusing, typically there is something going on underneath the surface. So before just diving into this and solving out this plus this plus this plus this, take a look at the numbers that we're dealing with here. We have one half minus one third, and then we end up having the addition of a third minus one fourth. And in addition and subtraction, the order of operations does not matter. So as long as we're only dealing with addition and subtraction, we can basically pretend like none of these brackets really exist. So if none of these uh, parentheses really exist, then we would have one half plus one third or one half minus one third plus a third. And obviously those two would cancel out. So we would have these two canceling out. Then we have minus a quarter plus a quarter. Those two cancel out minus a fifth plus a fifth. Those two cancel out. And what we end up with is one half minus one sixth. And this is a much easier uh, process to deal with, obviously, than solving this plus this plus this plus this, which is just a waste of time. So looking at this, we then have to put them in a common base in order to do addition or subtraction. So whenever you have two fractions and you're doing addition or subtraction between them, you have to first get that common base, which is going to be three six minus one six. And when you do addition or subtraction on fractions, you only do them across the top after you've gotten them in the common base. So it's three minus one, which is two over six. So the base does not change. We keep the same base um, and the addition or subtraction occurs on top. And uh, there's, there's a number of ways of thinking about this. Um, check out our video on how to do addition or subtraction with fractions, uh, where I'll go through it a little bit more if this is tricky. But remembering to just consider what the numbers look like before you just dive into doing the math to save time and be more efficient on test day. And the answer here is answer choice C, one third.